Group B pitted West Germany against Spain and both of them against England. Apart from their individual abilities and their tactical skill, West Germany always seemed to master the art of pacing their performances throughout a competition. But Spain had their demanding supporters to satisfy. This was to be a tight, tense group centred on the stage for the final itself, the Bernabeu Stadium, the opulent home of Real Madrid. England's hopes fueled by their impressive performances in the first group, and still hoping that Keegan and Brooking would be back to strengthen their hand. In the event, West Germany's meeting with Spain settled the outcome. Spain could never reach the heights expected of World Cup hosts. Manager Jose Santa Maria was blamed for mistakes in team selection and tactics, but correcting mistakes, such as those of goalkeeper captain Luis Arconada, is asking for a miracle. Santa Maria had been a World Cup hero with Uruguay in the 1950s. Not even he could turn the superstars of Real Madrid, Barcelona and Real Sociedad from bitter domestic rivals into the best of teammates. Paul Breitner, who knew this particular stage so well from his days with Real Madrid combined with Litvarski, set up a second German goal for Klaus Fischer. Stielicke, playing sweeper for the Germans on what was also his adopted home ground of Real Madrid, dealt with everything Spain threw at him, apart from one late header from Jesus Zamora. One to West Germany, the only victory in the three matches and enough to take them into the last four. England didn't concede a goal, but even with Keegan and Brooking making belated appearances as substitutes against Spain, they couldn't score. England unbeaten, but out of the World Cup.